Hello, I'm Dan Sweeney from MathSpec, and uh, I'd like to do a short video on how to import data from uh, MathBank or actually from any, any web-based uh, database. Now, uh, MathBank is at, uh, I use the European version if you will and it's under massbank.eu so I'm going to use uh, cymetidine as the example it has a molecular weight around 250 so it should run pretty quickly Now it says that there are 18 spectra here. And it's uh, sorted uh, alphabetically, uh, alpha numerically. The lowest energy appears to be uh, 15 volts. And I'm just going to look at the uh, positive ions here. Now this spectrum, um, the molecular weight is uh, 252 so this is the precursor ion and uh, it's at 100% relative intensity uh, I feel that an ideal spectrum for identification by MSMS would have the precursor ion at uh, 10 to 20 percent the uh, next energy is uh, up is 30 and uh, here we're in that uh, ideal range, I believe. Um, it's uh, 139 over 999, so roughly 14%. So that's good. So let's uh, find the. There's two sets of uh, of numbers here. I'm going to take the uh, the set that is mass and intensity copy now you can't copy it you could copy it directly into Excel but it'll all go into one column and then you have to sort it out so it's usually easier to use an intermediate uh, import of a text file so I'm going to uh, to go to WordPad and paste this in now these are uh, these columns are now separated by a space what I want to do is save it as uh, we'll go into this top. I've created a folder called cymetidine and uh, I want to save it as cymetidine Dean mass bank eq uh let's see three seven two 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 eight two but i want to save it as a plain text document text on it yeah it's okay so now if we go uh, and let's create a new excel file and go to uh, add-ins and uh, start the worksheets that we need I'm going to import this into sheet one rather than uh, try to go directly into uh, the data input I'm, I'm going to use an intermediate file Now, want to do get data. Now, one of the uh, issues the first time you do it is that uh, I use legacy wizards text, but that is not going to show up in your default installation. So, what you need to do is go to File and Options and Data and make sure under Legacy Data Import Wizards make sure that the text 
is uh, is selected, which I which I have done. So now when we go to data, get data, one of the possibilities is just text. So now I want to go to desktop, editing, import that. It's going to say, well, what's uh, my separator between uh, numbers, columns, and uh, we're using a space. A1, and we now have the, uh, the data. We can now select this. B and go to data input sheet worksheet <clears throat> and uh, paste just plain. Uh, the other thing we're going to have to have uh, MS1 data, which typically Mass Bank won't have. But what we can do is go back to uh, the Mass Bank record and uh, find the formula. Oh, here it is. Copy that. Go back to our worksheet, and I'll just paste it in here. Uh, sometimes it puts spaces at the front. Okay, this one looks like it's all right. And we can say equal ISO calc. So the isocalc function will take a formula and convert it into the uh, low resolution isotope pattern. Eight. And so basically we're using the estimated uh, ratios. So now we have our uh, mass intensities from the MS2, and we have our um, isotope data that's calculated. I'm going to just use the default parameters. Something of this molecular weight should run fairly quickly. So it's done. I'll save this file, save as, and we'll call it Cymetidine. Thirty volts collision energy. Save. Okay, so we've saved this one. We can look this over. This one does better a little lower score we have a 95 we're going to a 94 but this one does do a pretty good job of uh, of assignments uh, this one is giving us a linear uh, arrangement and uh, it this makes a lot of sense if you go to the second one it, it assigns more but it had so many possibilities on how to arrange it that it's it's not assigning anything so uh, the other thing I could show is what happens if you don't have uh, a spectrum of, uh, of 10 to 20 percent or in that region. Uh, if we go back here, um, let's go to, uh, let's go back to the, let's look at 45. Uh, did we do 45? Okay, 45 volts. There's no longer any precursor left, as far as I can tell. Let's see. No, there's there's only a one percent, so it's it's really weak. Copy this. Let's copy. And again, we'll go to this and make a new a new file. 
paste this in. So this is our 45 volt one. Start a new line and then go back to the uh, 15, which had a lot of this. So we can now go But it does happen sometimes that you're going to have no uh, spectrum with a collision energy such that you see uh, both the uh, precursor and get some good fragments. So let's file save as, uh, go back to desktop, so let it dean. Do uh, text and here uh, I think it's one and three then <clears throat> save yes okay now um, start a new Excel file <laughs> Data, data, uh, legacy, wizard. And we use this one. Delimited, next, with spaces. Next, finish. Okay. So now here we haven't opened up the Excel add in application yet. So we'll do that. Back to sheet one. Copy. Now some of these ions. Uh, let's let's find one. How about the the one fifty nine? For example, it's picked out twice in both of them. Uh, it will just uh, combine them together. We have to make sure that we haven't got more than a hundred ions. So, so we're stopping at 43, and we could handle up to about a hundred ions. And uh, we need to get the uh, isotope data. Don't know whether we have. Uh, yes. We have this one still, so we can just borrow that. Copy and book two. Paste. Okay, and we'll use the same uh, parameters. We just have different data now. Okay, so it's completed the transform. Uh, I could point out that the runtime is uh, captured after the run. It's saying that this one took 14 seconds. If we look at the other one, it's probably about the same amount of time, 16 seconds. So uh, surprisingly, it runs faster when you have more uh, fragment ions in this case. So let's see, let's go back. You and we can save this as Zimetidine um, And let's see what the scores are. I think we had a, whoa, uh, 114. Um, it's actually a higher score here. Uh, no alignment. Whoa, we have another high score. 
but it's, it's having problems getting the alignment on those. Let's see if we have any with the alignment. <laughs> no alignment. If there are more than uh, nine ways of arranging the uh, subfragments, you'll get no alignment. So uh, basically, this is just a, uh, I could do a quick, this is the theoretical, uh, if you will, theoretical, or as what I would call the estimated isotope ratio. And this is the estimated isotope ratio for this particular formula. In this case, we're only getting uh, one formula. Uh, this is the average of these five subfragments they, the comparison between the formula and the uh, calculated uh, subfragment mass, uh, we take uh, that difference and get the average uh, mass error of these five. And then the relative feasibility also takes into account not only the, the uh, mass error, but also how common these particular uh, substructure formulas would be. So anyway, that's a quick introduction to how you could import data if you just want to play around. You can import data into uh, the Excel add-in from uh, MassBank.